Welcome to our channel. The sun has been the subject of study for many years. Recently, many movies have depicted catastrophic scenes of solar eruptions leading to the downfall of humanity. Today, we will explore what would happen if the sun were to actually explode. But before we delve into that topic, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, and without further ado, let's get started. To begin with, it's important to note that the likelihood of the sun exploding is extremely low, but it still keeps some people up at night, and they are interested in associated theories as it's always worth discussing the potential consequences of such an event. The sun is known to be the central star of the solar system, and the only star in our planetary system. It is our closest star and also the brightest one in the sky. The gravitational influence of the sun keeps all objects in the solar system, including the Earth, in orbit around it. This plasma sphere is essential for life on Earth, as it provides us with heat and energy. However, what would happen if our sun were to explode, and when could this occur? Our sun is about 4.6 billion years old, and since stars like our sun burn for about 9 to 10 billion years, our sun is roughly halfway through its life. But don't worry, it still has about 5 billion years ahead of it. In the moment when the sun reaches the peak stage of its life, it would start expanding, becoming a so-called red giant. Subsequently, it would shrink, turning into a dying star known as a white dwarf, which would then cool for several billion years. Of course, we will be long gone before all of this happens. But can you imagine what it would be like if the sun exploded during our lifetime? How would this massive explosion, also known as a supernova, unfold? Everyone would probably immediately imagine a spectacular fiery explosion in the sky, bringing fiery balls falling to our Earth. But the truth would likely be that we wouldn't see anything at all. The fact is that the Sun is more than 149 million kilometers away from Earth, and light from the Sun takes over 8 minutes to travel to Earth. It might seem quite far to you, but in the case of a solar explosion, it's nothing. We wouldn't know about the explosion until it's too late, also because we wouldn't hear the explosion since the sound transmitted through space would be too faint. The positive aspect would be that if the sun did explode, the shockwave wouldn't be strong enough to destroy the entire Earth. Most likely, only the side of the Earth facing the sun would be instantly baked, and the rest of the Earth would experience permanent darkness. If we wanted to avoid this during the explosion, our planet would have to be at least 50 to 100 light years away from the sun, which is several thousand times more than our current distance. Since the sun would disappear, there would be nothing strong enough to keep our planet gravitationally bound in the solar system. So, our planet, without the sun holding us in orbit, would start freely floating in space, while surviving Earth inhabitants would desperately try to stay alive. There would be a chance, however, that over time, our planet could find its way into orbit around another star, which could provide the same light and warmth as our sun. But by the time that happened, we would be long gone. Currently, there are no known measures that could prevent such an event. However, if we were aware in advance of the sun's potential explosion, we could prepare for it. For example, we could burrow deep underground, several meters beneath the surface. After the sun's explosion, the temperature beneath the Earth's surface would remain around 20 degrees Celsius, which is about 68 degrees Fahrenheit. So with sufficient resources and the right technology, humanity could survive in fortified underground bunkers for several years. In this scenario, small colonies of people utilizing these bunkers would need to be prepared and trained in advance. According to scientists, it might even be possible to raise livestock underground and generate energy through nuclear or geothermal means. The aftermath of the explosion would unfold as follows. Within a week of the sun's explosion, the surface temperature on Earth would drop to minus 18 degrees Celsius, which is approximately minus 0.4 degrees Fahrenheit. Within a year, temperatures would plummet to a frigid minus 73 degrees Celsius, which is about minus 100 degrees Fahrenheit. At these temperatures, only bacterial and multicellular life forms hidden in hydrothermal vents could survive. Subsequently, after 1,000 years, the Earth's atmosphere would freeze and collapse onto the planet's surface. Anything left on the Earth's surface would be exposed to cosmic radiation and meteorite impacts. The good news is that if the sun were to explode, it wouldn't happen suddenly. The dying process of the sun would be long, slow, and demanding, taking place over billions of years. 
It's highly unlikely that this would occur during our lifetime on Earth since the Sun cannot simply explode out of nowhere. The process on Earth would involve the Sun expanding and losing its outer layers into space, making it much brighter and warmer on Earth. As the Sun sheds its outer layers into space, many other stars and planets would begin to form in the same way the Big Bang explosion created Earth. It could be said that this explosion might potentially create life on the newly formed planets. However, predicting how our galaxy might look billions of years from now is challenging. Especially imagining our solar system without the Sun holding everything together. If all these mentioned events were to occur, and if humanity managed to survive, where would we likely live? Would it be more suitable to go underground and adapt to life beneath the Earth's surface? Or would humanity have advanced its space technology to the extent that we could leave Earth before the Sun's explosion and start life on some space station? What are some other possible phenomena that could occur with the Sun, resulting in catastrophic consequences for humanity? One potential catastrophic event could be powerful solar flares. This is a phenomenon where the solar atmosphere releases a tremendous amount of energy, often associated with the ejection of solar material into space. These flares can create solar storms that impact the Earth's electromagnetic field. Their impact on communication and electrical systems is a crucial aspect, as they can cause disruptions in radio signals, navigation, and power grids. Furthermore, another scenario could involve the collapse of the solar wind. This phenomenon relates to the solar wind, which is the flow of particles ejected from the solar atmosphere. If this wind weakens, it could significantly affect Earth's protection against cosmic radiation. This process may influence the Earth's magnetic field and disturb the planet's secure atmosphere from harmful radiation. Additionally, changes in solar activity might occur, influencing the Earth's climate. Solar activity can impact atmospheric temperature and climatic patterns. Currently, the precise mechanisms of this influence are still under research, and understanding these processes is crucial for better comprehending climate changes. Moreover, a potential cosmic explosion could impact the Sun. This event might have adverse effects on our solar system. These incidents could lead to explosions of cosmic material and intense solar storms, affecting the functionality of satellites, electrical systems, and communication networks. Overall, it is essential to monitor and study these phenomena to gain a better understanding of their impact on our planet and the solar system. Consistent observation and research into these aspects of solar activity enable us to prepare for potential impacts and improve our ability to predict and respond to these phenomena. That's all from us for today. If you're interested in videos filled with mysterious mysteries, dark stories, legends, or monsters, and you crave more, subscribe to our channel so you won't miss any new videos.